Hey, it's Clay. Welcome to another video. In a recent video, I did a $18 microphone upgrade. I upgraded the capsule and the circuit board uh, and came up with a vastly upgraded mic compared to the stock. Well, I had a little bit of an adventure. Uh, the capsule I initially had chosen didn't work with the circuit board that I used, and I didn't really quite understand why, so I ended up just swapping to a different capsule. But if you check out that video in the comment section, Sound Sleuth, uh, shout out to him. He's an awesome YouTuber that has made videos about this same process, um, and he made a comment and we had some very nice discussion and then through that I got in touch with JLI Audio actually their customer service rep guy sent me an email out of his own volition and offered to send me the uh, circuit board that I needed to make the microphone work so what we're going to do is we're going to take the video that you, the microphone that you saw in the last video and then we're going to update it all the way to the way it should have been from the beginning so what we're going to end up with here is a fully upgraded microphone I've got the $18 Amazon Chinese special uh, ca you know, ch chassis and, and enclosure and everything, but it's got the JLI Audio's capsule, the TSC-1. I've got the um, OPA Alice circuit board, and then I also have the DC-DC uh, bias voltage uh, board as well to make the capsule work with this board. And so um, let's go ahead and see that build process, and I got a ton of clips to show off. I think you guys are going to really enjoy this one, so stick around. Let's dive in. All right, I've got the JLI capsule connected to this black mounting piece using two screws to connect into the screw holes on the side of the microphone body or the capsule body. Now the capsule and its bracket are connected to the chassis body here. There's one, two, three, four screws that connect it down to this part of the chassis. Next, I take these wires. There's one here on the center and there's one here from the outer edge of the ground. And they go through this little hole to make it down into the uh, PCB area. Now the basket goes back on, got two screws on either side to connect it to the chassis. All right, now there's two wires that are coming from the capsule itself. One of them is, I'm gonna call it the hot, or that's coming out of the center uh, of the capsule, and then the other one was grounded to the body. The one that's coming from the center, the hot, is going to the OPA Alice board in the middle terminal where it says signal. The other one, mine is blue, which is grounded to the chassis, is going onto the DC-DC uh, CMOS board on this POL tab right here. All right, I've got the body shell back on and I got the screw mount here to tighten everything down. Let's go ahead and test this puppy out, see how it sounds. drive on until I get there I drive on until I get there cause I'm a ram yes I am and I know just what to do I drive on and I'm trying to get next to you cause I'm a ram now you bet your life I do I'm a ram now I wanna get next to you I 
I was scared, I was scared Tired and underprepared But I'll wait for it And if you go, if you go You leave me down here on my own And I'll wait for it Okay, I want to do a little bit of a back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back comparison. I've got three microphones I'm going to test. These are three large diaphragm condenser mics. I'm running them into a Golden Age Pre-73 Junior preamp into my audio interface. Um, so let's go ahead and test that out at this time. All right, this is the Golden Age Project FC1 Mark II, just for comparison. And you might have been hurt, babe. That ain't no lie, you know. you seen them all come. And go. This is my other DIY microphone from the newer NW800. I've got a video on that if you want to check it out. We're going to test this one. And you might be hurt, babe. That ain't no lie, you know. You seen them all come and go. You might be hurt, babe. That ain't no lie, you know. You seen them all come and go. All right, now I've got a Shure SM58. I have not made changes on the audio interface, but this is quite a bit lower gain. You might been hurt, babe. That ain't no lie, you know. You seen them all come and go. Okay, last one. I've got an Audio Technica U873R small diaphragm condenser. Let's see how that one sounds. You might been hurt, babe. That ain't no lie, you know. You seen them all come and go. You might been hurt, babe. That ain't no lie, you know. You seen them all come. And go.